Here in the flat landscape of the salt pan, wind is a major feature and wind on this dry landscape will pick up sand and sand and wind, the pressure between the two media create harmonic form. And in the corner of the basin here, we have star dunes leading up to crescent dunes, leading to a magnificent snaking rib edge of an erg. Harmonic pattern in form by the energies of wind and sand in movement. There's only one sand dune structure that's larger, and that's the dra. An erg is so big that it contains a lens of moisture. So there's a point around the erg which actually leaks water like a spring reservoir. It's the largest but one of all sand dune features, shaped by wind in a long knife edge ridgeline. In the middle of the erg, there's a lens. Just one meter below the surface, you'll find a dampened sand. And then as you go into the erg, there's actually a damp lens reservoir. With this size of a sand dune, the inertia of the water is so great that it's got to have a leak point somewhere. Downslope between the erg and the salt pan, there's an old fort just here. And that's built exactly at the leak point of the erg. And between the erg and the lowest point, which is obviously the salt pan, we have that one piece of landscape that is extra hydrated. Here, you can plant mulch trees. Here, you can build organic matter with that moisture and you can go into production. There's one little piece of the landscape. You need to be able to read that. And there you can survive really well. And you can build the diversity of a forest, garden, desert, oasis landscape. So here you can see the erg, and I'm surrounded by green. There's green vegetation everywhere. And just here is an old hand dug well from 1859. And there's moisture still right at the surface. See quite distinct moisture right here. This is the moisture leaking from the inside of that giant sand dune. This is continuous. It's forming through the land itself soaking down here because every rain soaks in there and continuously adds to that great big lens of water inside that sand dune. So here it's possible to use this water to actually put in swells across this landscape on contour and plant mulch trees and put native and even non-native trees into function as carbon capturing mulch. Adding humus to the soil, adding organic matter to the soil, then we could bring in higher and higher quality desert fruit trees. And this could easily be an oasis. <laughs>